Wowsker. Now, if you look at the top of this, not I'm home, but kind of look at this. I mean, if you look here, okay, you look here. So look here. Here's my hand from the ceiling. And if you look at that, I mean, that is, I'm so lucky. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. This thing's just crazy. Another toy, a gator. Careful what you wish for in life, right? Listen to this thing. This thing just sounds so cool. I think that engine just sounds so good. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's put it in reverse seat here. There it is. Okay, let's hope we don't hit that freaking top. Oh my goodness, all right, here we go. Take the product around the property. How about that idea, right? So this transmission's so different to me. You know, I'm so used to these Pioneers. So it's a direct drive, you know, geared. Look at my little girl right there. Look at the little baby. So, you know, it's weird when you drive this, it doesn't, you know, it's just kind of like it's a lull. What's the odds of that, huh? She likes it. She hasn't seen it yet. Grass needs to be cut again. <laughs> yeah, so the idea of this, like for me, years ago I painted my fence with my other utility vehicle, which is pretty cool. And then, you know, I spray the tree line and you run around and you pick up the debris around the yard from all the trees. You're going to go a little girl. You want to attack him. She wanted to chase me. She wants to attack him. You know? So, yeah, you just blast around the property. It's pretty neat. drive the uh, Ram today. Can't even see her. It's not even in there. That's funny. There are the doggies. Yeah, the dogs chase one another. Most dogs chase the vehicle. They chase one another. Except this guy right here. Which he's a little concerning sometimes. Out of the pond, you just got four wheel drive, so you take her out, swamp her, right? There you go. I've gone through the creek with so many toys, it's insane. Yeah, you know, and I go up the back roads with this too. Here's a nice back mountain roads, and you know, it's the police don't usually bug you. Famous last words. Hitting the bumps. This is where the dogs go after one another. Look at the path. See that path right there? And there it is. And I did all that extra fencing there. All the sheep are gone. So he raises them to slaughter them. Sadly. These trees. You know, I, I planted these trees like in 2011, I think. Maybe 2010. The whole idea is I wanted to shelter my property. Now, down here, I've had so many utility vehicles and side-by-sides that I wonder how this thing does turning. This would be the true tale of 
how well this thing turns today, independent more trees, those are doing pretty good. I used to drive around my tractor and feed them with water, but it has so much water, so let's see how this does. Yeah, this actually does really well. Yeah. There's the dog. Look at my pond. Totally overtaken by lily, the lily pads. I got a muskrat or something living here now or something. It's supposed to maybe eat those things. There's my dog. It's like, oh, I know. Get him away. You know, I wish he could put like horn. Did you see him a horn on it? Oh, it has a button for you. It's an add on. Yeah. Alright, not too shabby, right? I like it. Should have my little protection thing on, right? See the barn? Yeah, one day silo, paint that. Yeah, you go through the woods here. I don't know if I'll do that or not. I think I'll pass on that because a lot of debris back there. I don't want to scratch up my brand new machine. You know what I mean? There's another tree. I took a big ass tree down years ago, and this little guy wants to do the same thing again. Those trees there. My goal there is those trees all grow up and they kind of shade the back side of my property. And I didn't get too crazy. And look at my uh can't even think of the name of that tree right now, but that one I planted there is doing phenomenal. And uh the other one not so much. Can't even think of the name of it. down here. I planted both these trees at the same time. And look how the other tree is so uh, look, it's not even that other tree is like a third bigger at least. I wonder why. One guy says I planted it too deep. And it's all tried you nuts yet. Alright. Not too shabby, right? Walk around. Service the bumps pretty good. All the dogs are going nuts on me. And I think they're goofballs. They're chasing that one dog. Alright, did the final walk around and park it. Call it a time. Right? Yeah, dogs. Hey, stop it! Alright, there she is. You know any pictures I've had of this type of thing in front of my barn? <laughs> And you know, I got a tool. They say you can adjust the shock. I guess if you want it a little more taut. So, uh, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. It's a win. The fun part is taking out the plastic. You know, some of these lawnmowers, it's plastic. Okay, good. It's not that bad. You know what? Oh, look at this here. Is there any storage back there? I kind of wondered about that. Oh, good. It's got adjustable thing to move back and forth and you check that out does this have i don't think this does man nah, have to move forward see yeah sometimes they get creative and give you an area below pretty neat look at the look at the leaves I and mean, this is pretty good artistic work here actually my other uh camos i've had hasn't been like that apparent that's pretty neat i like that future LED lights and look at that there really neat not bad you know trying to do considering for all the products they have not bad I think they did pretty good see there the leaf Isn't that neat and there's the gator you know I didn't realize John Deere has been around for 175 years they got a picture of that in the office from like 1837 or something I mean, that's just crazy with plows, the tills, or whatever. That's how I got going. That's something just incredible. Yeah, this here, so it's just right here. You know, it's a future switch. So, a lot of 
A lot of, you know, you can do so much of these things and start spending stupid money. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, that bench, where did that bench does come up? I didn't even check that. That that actually unhitches. You know, you buy some, you kind of start walking around, you kind of start figuring out a little bit more. I like the dual receivers, so you can tow something frontwards and or backwards. What is this thing here? I don't know. Look, yeah, it has hinges. Look at this thing. Oh, here you go. Right here. Oh, wow, look at that. The sales I didn't show me. How about that? That's so cool. You know, see, that just shows you that... I know from being in the industry of having products, there's so much information on every product. It's very hard. It's just, you just, you don't know all the stuff these things have. That is so cool. So, you know, what's cool is, you know, if you're going somewhere, water, storage, tool storage, I mean, that's really cool. Wow. Now it's really exciting. My other ATVs haven't had that. See, the Pioneer, which I got rid of a few years ago, the way it was set up, it looks similar to this, but it had a back door like this here would pull out. And then they had seats here that would, you know, actually fold up so people could sit back here, which I was a pretty cool feature. It was a very creative Honda. And for me, I've had I've had a few of those Hondas. And you know what? It's a great product. And but I just have a better deal. This is actually the better deal for what I have going on for me on this. And I just like the John Deere product right now. And I'm just not in, you know, the Pioneer is a thousand cc little racehorse. I mean, that little, that damn Pioneer, that thing, you know, it's fun. That thing rock and rolls. Yeah. But this one seems to be a little quieter. That's one thing about those talons. I've had those Honda talons. They are so noisy. When you ride around those things, they are so noisy. They're not, eh. I mean, I had one all done up, you know, totally enclosed and everything. And what I learned from doing that was very, very hot in the summer months, actually cold in the winter months. But then the noise, the noise inside that unit was just horrendous. I mean, it was bad. And I really should never, I, tr I traded my regular talent out and then I bought this all done up one and I should never done it because I told the guys that I bought it, like, I'm going to buy this unit. You have eleven thousand dollars accessories. I'll never see it back. I'll never get it back. And I didn't. You know, I sold that thing, and whoever got that unit after me got a deal. Yeah, just follow me around, right? Just hey, follow my YouTube channel. And who got my F four fifty? Who got my F two fifty? Who got my Toyota Avalon? Who got you know? I can go through the list of cars that I end up giving back or motorcycles. And think about those Honda motorcycles. If I would have turned and traded those into the Indian dealer, you'd be getting a Rebel five hundred motorcycle with a yakashima or whatever muffler on it with 500 miles on it or you'd be getting a freaking africa twin with 200 and 300 miles on it i mean just incredible so yeah follow my youtube channel you just may you may just benefit from knowing me just like this new freaking toolbox this weather guard toolbox that i bought thing i mean i hate to even sell it that's a thousand dollar toolbox i put in the back of that f450 that i have here in my shop now you know what am i gonna do with that you know, I mean, literally, yeah, that toolbox was in the back of that 450. I need to sell it, but it's, you know, you put it on the Craigslist or people say go to Facebook now. What are you going to get out of it? You know, the guy be telling you 500 bucks. So, yeah, it's so the rear receiver on this. Oh, nice little protecting plates underneath there to protect your underneath. And then a rear receiver. I, yeah, that's nice. I think it's like a 4,000. 4,000 pound, you know, trailer capability. I mean, I could haul that little, well, that dump trailer is a lot, so nothing there. And you saw the other day, nice little kick down here. Hey, you see back here. So I wonder what the, uh, what the, the, the weight, oh, they got a little tape measure thing here for you if you're working off the back. Pretty cool. And then you want to sit back here and drink your beer or whatever and hang out. You know what I mean? And just sit in here. And that's pretty cool, too. Yeah, and the dogs are like, can I get up in there? It's pretty high. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Here's my one dog. So he wants to get up here with me. He wants to hang out with me. The one dog there, he can jump in. They're getting older, and that's just hard on them. Yeah, he wants to be right here with me. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Just a little follow-up video on the, on the Gator machine so you can get a little better idea. You know, I didn't really see. I looked for the radio capability. So, you know, do you, I mean, anymore, why do you need that? <laughs> you, got, you know, anymore, why? 
I mean, sincerely, is this future pockets for that? I don't think so. I like the really like this style because most of my units have always have had your phones have fall out. So uh, you wash and you unit out. Really cool. Really nice. Here's your instructions. So once again, oh, there goes my dog. Thanks for watching Ice Age TV Gator Day, and hope this video helps you make a decision on a future utility vehicle, even though very challenging. I mean, just, yeah, good luck. Prove me wrong, which, you know, I, I help people find deals and get things, and that's great. Okay, everybody have a great day. I got to thinking to myself, you know, anybody watched my YouTube channel, you know, there's so many videos of me talking about so many things, but just kind of doing the one over on this John Deere XUV 835M. I, you know, now you can see these are black seats, which I really like that. So you just saw that. Under here is the storage. That's huge to me. That's really nice. Um, electronic. That's an electronic piston. I don't think that's a hydraulic piston. That's a motor. That ain't hydraulics. So that's really nice. Okay, so you have easy access to the engine. The engine's apparently a chariot, a C H A R I O T. Be interesting if there's anything stamped on this. See, there's something right here. I just can't see what that says. And but the motor really seems just really nice and solid. There's your main belt drive system. Here's your independent rear suspension. So that's really nice. So, you know, this Gator really is competing against the other, you know, Honda's Polaris product line. So, I wouldn't anybody here to think that, you know, the Honda is that much greater than this. I mean, I don't think so. I think it's, you know, it's a great unit, great machine. You just hear me talking about the, the gear-driven transmission versus the belt-driven and it'd be interesting. I don't. I need to get the uh, brochure out and see how many gallon fuel tank that is. But this is really nice. And you know the accessories and the little tie down. And this has a spring and bed liner. And you can just see all the holes in the frame for the future. If you want to do a, if you want to do like a, a sealed cab. And for me, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bury the money into putting a front winch. You know, I just didn't want to loan the money. If I just buy that outright, I can put my own winch in. There's no doubt. My, I can put my own lights in. So I just felt like I'll do that on my own. Make my little how-to videos. And then you have this really nice feature of the uh, front windshield. It pops open. It's pretty flawless. You just kind of push it. goes open. That's a nice feature. And, and then this front push bar tilts down. So when you open up the front hood here, you can get your radiator easier and you get your power steering unit easier and any issues up in the front. And you know, once again, front independent suspension. I'm glad John Deere made this option because if this was green with like the yellow seats, I, I wouldn't be buying it. I mean, yeah, me, it's about the look. Some people, it's more about just the usability. Who cares what it looks like? But I'm more about the guy that likes the look, if you can kind of tell what I do. So, you know, I just, just got to think of myself as a YouTube channel guy. Maybe I'd be a little more thorough on this unit here and uh, help people out there that are looking for a nice utility vehicle. The downside is, uh, yeah, look for this in the market. If you can find it, that'd be awesome for you. But the message I'm getting is you probably have to order one. And the downside is the 2023s are more money. So, but I guess it's proportional to the industry, not just them. And, Headlight there, and this is just a dummy light for a future, future uh, turn signal light. If you want to make this thing, uh, make this thing capable of uh, being able to uh, be roadworthy. If you get a turn signal thing on there, I think, and you get some. Uh, that's interesting. I wonder if this, where the capability to put your rear view mirrors on this are. I don't know. I'd be interested. So you're gonna need the rear view mirrors. You already have the brake lights. You have to put a turn signal. You'd have to guess put in, I don't know. That's interesting. Where would the turn signal option come in? You know, it's like you're putting something here. This has the tilt steering wheel, like there. And just push the brake down to get this thing in the automatic transmission. Nice, you know, hold for somebody. It's three, three front seaters. So there's officially three, one, 
two, three, and the seat belts, one, two, three seat belts, so you're safe. And then nice for you to be able to take and uh, put this here. This makes it so it's more of a guard thing here for you. I may need to take my hand out to make this all work. But this is basically so that you have the unit so you're secure in there. But what I like about it is it just falls down and it doesn't create a problem. My other units, to put those things up, <clears throat> those things are a little more challenging. So that's a pretty good design there. And they just say leave it like that and you're fine. I like the tires, like the wheels, nice uh, setup. And you know, it feels like quality. The biggest thing about this John Deere Gator is it doesn't feel cheap or cheesy. So anybody out there, you know, wanting this, and I just think this is a unit that it's going to be sought after. It's not going to be a giveaway machine. And as long as the usability and the uh, reliability, you know, are good, it's always going to have great value. Here's your, that's interesting. So what is that set on? Oh, it sets on this here. Yeah, so it's like your rubber, foam rubber-like stops. You know, aluminum, my guess this has got to be aluminum to make it lighter. Could be steel. I guess it probably is steel actually yeah that's steel yeah so you put this down so let's see what happens here, see here? watch that Which that's really cool when you're out working in the woods and doing projects having that dump feature capability that really is nice and then the hard top yes that's an add-on so it means you know look on these units you know the, the hard top's an add-on front windshield's an add-on the electronic gate or electronic dump is an add-on um, the front, uh, grill, brush guard, that's an add-on. The front fancy, or the, the fancy wheels and tires, that's an add-on. The blacked out package, as far as you know, it's an add-on. The camo paint, you know, the camo scheme, decals, that's an add-on. So, you know, so what happens is when you go, you look at a, a regular John Deere 835M, you know, this, you could get this thing for two, three, four, five grand less but it's not going to be this theme. You're not going to have the top. You're not going to have the windshield. So keep that in mind. If you're just looking for a utility vehicle and you don't care. You just want to put that stuff down the road, then fine. And if you don't care, if you like green and yellow, then even more fine. All right. That's my review of the John Deere XUV 835M 2022 model. And uh, I think it's a great unit and I think John Deere is a good product right now. So I hope this helps you make a decision for your future utility vehicle. Yeah, this is the gas engine. I believe it's 54 horsepower gas engine as well. Plenty powerful. I don't know why you'd need more for this type of vehicle. And that's something to think about. It's a new side-by-side -side market out there that is specifically designed, you know, just for that. The performance end. This is the utility vehicle side. So, you know, John Deere is not going to be making a unit to compete against that. Just like Honda, same thing. Manufacturers out there, Polaris, Honda, Kawasaki, you know, they all have specific utility vehicle, work vehicles to the off-road adventure side-by-side -side performance vehicles. So keep that in mind. You're looking at that. And as far as I know, John Deere does have that type of unit, but that's not what I'm interested in. I've had them. <laughs> I've had those things and uh, yeah, they're a lot of fun. All right, hope this uh, helps you once again at the Ice Age TV product review, okay? Geez, I tell you, I'm learning as I go. So look at this. Here's a little cup holder. Now, I don't know, mixed feelings on that, but not bad, but three. That's pretty cool. And I did look at the manual. This is 11-gallon. This does have an 11-gallon fuel tank. So anybody out there? So I'm doing a little more research so that's pretty cool hey there's the neighbors wanting my dogs to go play with their dogs just as an end and it does have four-wheel disc just little things to share with others investigating what they're going to buy next 
All right, so I just thought I'd add that in there. It's pretty cool, actually, you know, and I think it's probably, it's pretty deep. Now, usually the problem with these cup holders is stuff bounces out, but it's decently deep. Not too shabby. All right. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and another thing. It's so funny. I'm just kind of hanging out here. And so this does have the windshield wiper on the uh, front windshield, but it does not have the windshield washer fluid hookup. You got to buy the pump and the and the uh, tank separate. So just so you know, there. So it's just another thing to add to the list of things that. I'm sitting over in the passenger side, and it's really actually very comfortable. And here's more storage, and here's a nice little 12 volt outlet that's uh, a nice little feature too. And the glove box, I didn't really open it up. So uh, the other day, oh, okay, you gotta push down, I guess. So I guess the trick is you push in. Nice little glove box that's uh, not too shabby. So. There you go, right there. And your seat, your little same thing, protection over here. For anybody that's got a little kid or something ride with them, you can definitely feel pretty secure in this. And it's pretty wide. This is a big unit, too. So, look at the dogs. And, you know, I used to take the dogs on rides with me and my, my the Honda Pioneer. One thing that was nice about that unit was I did have the full, like, roll cage on it and the full top. And it did have sides to kind of secure people in the back so I could put the dogs back there and they'd be secure so well uh, that's kind of that was kind of neat so for these dogs here do I you know what I don't know debatable very debatable on that <laughs> crazy right even though we used to all ride around our trucks with dogs in the back down highways yeah remember those days yeah right even kids yeah I was one of them <laughs> All right, I'll hush up. If I not, otherwise, I got something else to tell you, right? Digital display, digital dis, uh, speedometer. Oh, there's your little info page right there. I didn't even notice that. See what I'm saying? I'm kind of hanging out in this thing right now, and I'm just kind of learning things too. So I guess I'll just keep on going then, right? So here is the the display, trip, hour meter, odometer, trip. Okay, so nothing much. Here's your capability to make this brighter or not so bright okay so that's pretty much it on that and then break is on in part now i don't know oh brightness that's what that was and your tool drive said four wheel drive so all right i think that's here's your buttons four wheel drive here's your windshield washer fluid here is interesting what is that that's your locking rear differential and yeah, so here's your full drive and locking differential. That's pretty cool. And lots of uh, lots of you know punch outs for the future of all your accessories. And you can put a front plow in this. And actually, the front plow isn't even John Deere. It's uh, Boss Plows and Smith or something. I'm trying to think of the other name of the uh, Weston or something like that. So. John Deere kind of got away from that. So just so you know, it's a hydraulic setup that ties into your hydraulic system to be a, a plow to make you can angle. And but that's pricey. You can get crazy. Here's your lights right over here. You can get crazy in these things and start really decking these things out. So, uh, all right. Once again, I'll, I think that that's the last time I'll be posting that for a post all the videos. Thanks for watching. Ice H T V. You know, look who wants to be part of the fun. Look, I got fun. I got the fun dogs here. Look, they're all wanting to hang out here. Look at this here. They're funny. They just jumped in here as I'm hanging out. <laughs>I just can't stop videoing on the skater. Look, there's another cup holder. I mean, I'm just sitting here. Oh my gosh. So yeah, just one video after a video of yeah, and another thing. Yeah, and another thing. So four cup holders. Oh, this is pretty cool. So uh, anyways, continue on.